Alrighty, hey yo, what is up knights? Aegis Rick here, back with some more DFO Blitz. This time again on my female brawler. Now guys, I kind of mentioned in the last female brawler video that I wanted to do a kind of a before and after video. Uh, before the infinity patch and then afterwards because let me just tell you guys right now the uh, spoiler alert We're gonna just tell you this female brawler that you're gonna see in this video is nothing like the one that you saw in the last one and for a couple of reasons Okay, purposefully so okay uh, the first and foremost reason guys is the skill situation infinity update brought a lot of uh, changes not really to the skills themselves but really how more so how the damage is calculated we got a lot of buffs uh, in terms of the overstrain, for instance, uh, for some reason the female brawler always got gimped in this, and that her conversion rate wasn't always 100%. We also got an additional uh, elemental damage modifier, which is brand new. Now elemental damage will affect us uh, as as a passive, and we also get 100% conversion on max uh, on your physical and magical skills as well. So that's a buff actually. But the biggest change comes with the applied poison buff. Before the patch, Applied Poison was the primary skill of the class, it defined the class, and it, the same case afterwards, except now Applied Poison applies to all skills. All of your skills are going to be applied, uh, getting buffed because of it, and that really does change the meta about the class. It's no longer about getting multi-hits and, and stacking poison like it used to be. You're going to see in this, in this video that all of your skills are going to be doing a percentage of this poison damage modifier. But anyway, enough trying to explain that I'll show in video, but the biggest change, guys, aside from that, is the gear situation. I kind of alluded to that before I was rocking full uh, Chronicles only, and it was okay, but let me just tell you guys, we are going full boner on the Legendary's gears now. I've thrown a lot of money at this character, even more so than you guys saw in the last video, so let's go over real quick. I do have a five-piece source of disease. I've already uh, reinforced ten of those. Um, I did wear a six set piece, but I've since kind of replaced my necklace with the shape of Avarice, which is okay. It does a little bit of additional damage. Uh, big parts right here are the other legendaries. Poison Cloud Crystalline for some poison damage. Personified Nightmare for some poison damage, a theme you will see uh, very shortly here. A condensed Grudge Orb for some Hello Poison and Bleed damage, and then in finally Infector Manakai. There is no sub equipment in the game that will beat this one, so uh, tons of Shattered Resist uh, down, or excuse me, uh, poison damage as well as abnormal status down so just crazy gear right now guys uh, my pet situation I'm rocking Black Widow for now uh, which is awesome of course I'm happy I have it because snake stance is like new meta nowadays uh, rocking snake stance on the top and then I even got apply poison swaps so I'm actually throwing even more money in terms of plant emblems and all that too so there's that and then finally guys I kind of skipped over it but maybe you guys see it uh, what is the deal with this epic, yo? I got a level 90 claw. Long story short, my uh, this is the first time I've ever transferred an epic off of one of my other characters. It was something that, you know, I kind of racked my brain about for a long time, but I felt like I had enough souls to do it. In fact, it was less souls than I expected. It was only like 100-something souls and a bunch of, you know, fragments and stuff, and I had enough to do it, and I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. So I did. Uh, even got an 8 refined, put a card on it, reinforced it. I am trying really hard on this character, guys. And it is a huge upgrade from what you guys saw in the last video. And that's going to show uh, for the rest of this one. But anyway, guys, uh, I kind of explained it before that swaps are the main thing. We'll talk about that after this run because I'm kind of tired of talking about it. Let's just go ahead and go jump into it. Let's go back into Valley of Half-Breeds and, and just go in there and show you guys what the changes are. But we'll showcase uh, swapping is extremely important on this class, guys. Uh, I'm not kidding when I say that, uh, you know, the, the, unlike other, other classes in this game, I, I actually don't know other classes that have swaps as important as uh, on the female brawler. But because the poison damage is so pivotal to her build, and I have to point this out every time because I feel like... Nobody, nobody took the time to tell me this, okay? Because I remember the times where I was whining and bitching about how female brawler just I couldn't get her to work, right? I couldn't make her stronger no matter what I did. Amped everything, tried really hard to amp stuff, and, and spent a lot of money trying to get her stronger, and I just couldn't do it. It's because nobody told me the secret. Nobody told me the secret about female brawler, and that is her poison damage is key. Her pro poison damage defines the class, and. Uh, that's what you're seeing now, guys, uh, and, and that's why the, the swap is so important. So, of course, we're not doing it in this run, but just throwing that out there that 
Hey, you know what? If you want to make Brawler work, you guys, you gotta you really gotta follow the the rule of the poison, man. You need some poison damage, and also you need some strike damage. I mean, strike damage is what most classes are building towards. This is more of your generic class. Almost every other class in the game is just building raw damage, and that will obviously increase your damage. Not in the case of Brawler, okay? I want to say that. You know, the, the legendaries that I have right now, Source of Disease 3-piece, I think that is an absolute bare minimum. Because I think the 3-piece right here, the 3-set effect, is probably better than any of, like, aside from, like, full 90 epic sets, that's a better than what you're gonna, gonna be getting. Uh, that value off of those 3 pieces are better than what you can get off of epics. Like, I'm not, I'm not kidding when I say that's how important it is. Guys, we're gonna try to, uh, try to CC this guy. He really loves, like, ignoring me, so I'm gonna... Hit him with this, and with this, and with this, and the stun again. So, yeah, he just—he just really loves ignoring me, man. He just screw it. You know what? Let the poison deal with him. That's—that's that's how this class works, anyway. So, anyway, guys, you just see how easy I'm just like melting through, guys. And there's a lot of a lot at work there. So, you know, I'll maybe try to explain it a little bit more. But just telling you guys the situation with Brawler. That's the secret, okay? The poison damage, the abnormal status down, and a bit of strike damage. You know, I did go out of my way to reinforce my weapon and, and refine it and everything because I'm trying to get, eke out the most damage. Uh, this is a hybrid type class, even though it does focus on the poison damage. So that's how you're going to have to devote your time and, and effort into this character. But guys, in this run, we're going to go ahead and use our full swaps. What this entails is usually Tidal, Centipede's Maul, Six Piece Mad Dog Cooligan, which is. Um, it's damn near necessary. Uh, it, it, it's absolutely necessary. You need to get six piece Mad Dog Hooligan. Doesn't matter what pieces you get. You might be worried about what pieces to get. Uh, it doesn't matter what pieces you get because all of the off slots you're going to be filling with dual tainted uh, for apply poison damage. And in fact, you want to fill the most slots that you can with apply poison um, while not having to rely on pieces like like I am right now with the Tech Ring and the Sea God Pants. You want to try to fill those with tainted if you can. Uh, by getting plant emblems and getting a pet, which mine is not even active right now. Just throwing that out there. But, you know, stuff like this is something that I really don't want to go into in depth about uh, in this series. Because it's kind of like getting into the meta and all that shit. Which I don't really uh, care about. But I feel like, uh, you know, swapping right there. It, it, it's going to be like your bread and butter. What you're going to be doing all the time, you know, swapping your weapon, swapping your title, swapping out your gear, swapping out your pet if you have one, swapping out your plaid emblems. It starts getting pretty annoying, guys. Let me just let me just say that, you know. Uh, I, I really do wish that Neopo, like, incorporates an idea of, like, one-button swaps, but because of it, guys, you're going to be rewarded for the rest of the dungeon. And that's kind of goes off of a patch that we got a long time ago, is the uh, Reborn patch, actually, I think gave us in infinite... Uh, status or uh, buffs infinite snapshot buff so you don't have to worry about reswapping it after uh, aside from the one time in dungeon this goes for most buffs even your second awakening right now by the way is uh, it's not a swap uh, snapshot buff but at least it does last permanently for the rest of the dungeon which is great look at that guy man I just hit him one time like you know I seriously think I could just hit this guy with a dash attack and it's like enough to kill him like he, he's dead he's dead that guy hit he's 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 done so He's not ready, man. So it's a little... <laughs> this poison damage is a little overkill. For this kind of content, guys, I, I, even though it's Slayer difficulty on, like, the highest level uh, region, it's like, this is way too overkill to be swapping. So if you're if you're kind of bummed out that you have to swap in this class, really it's only for the highest game content, which will maybe show off some higher content. I am raiding on this character, by the way, which is exactly why I have that uh, Source of Adverse necklace. Let's see what... Uh, just grab me one of those and just make my character stronger like that. It's going to be... I mean, I don't want to say it's easy to raid on this character. Because obviously I have like a really strong weapon to carry me through there. But uh, I do got to say, most of my gear is not epics. Okay, aside from the, aside from the one epic that I got in uh, the weapon. This, this class isn't really focused too heavily on... Uh, I'm about to die here. Dude, this guy's like body splashing me and everything. Okay, hit him with this, hit him with this. I really do hate how he just like kind of yeah I, I, he just kind of CCs you. You're trying to CC him, and he just turns around and CCs you instead. So, uh, but yeah, guys, most of the gear I have is just like pure legendaries. 
have the six piece of Source of Disease, so if I wanted to, I could just wear the six set Source of Disease. The rest of the very pivotal poison pieces, that's where all your money's gonna be going. And a decent weapon like Lib, you're gonna be you're gonna be golden. Obviously, the, the epic is carrying me hard right now, but you know, something you can slowly progress towards. The biggest thing I wanna talk about, the Source of Disease, and why, I mean, aside from it just being so great on its own, Oops, canceled the applied poison uh, by accident. Uh, one of the greatest things about it being uh, a legendary set is that it's a very modular set. What I mean by that is, uh, you know, you don't have to... Right there, by the way, you can cancel snakes. This is something I learned pretty recently. You can cancel snake stance uh, from any uh, animation, kind of like Soul Man. But uh, yeah, it, uh, what I mean by the legendaries being modular is that you're allowed to swap out some of the pieces like piece by piece as you start getting stronger pieces so say if I found a really good epic in hell mode or something it's not very hard for me to take out a couple of my legendaries but still keep the integrity of the set right I have a five set right now but I can just as easily have a three set effect and still be really powerful so uh, that's not the same that you can say about things like chronicle sets which are only good when you have the full nine set meaning if you got you know, really good epic, you really couldn't wear it unless you could replace all nine pieces, right? It's the same kind of situation, uh, you know, with other classes that wear chronicle sets or other classes that are only looking for sets. Whereas the Source of Disease and most other legendaries, well, I wouldn't say most of the other legendaries, I'd say mostly just the Source of Disease has a really nice property that its three set effect is really strong. And the five set effect is not bad either, you know? So, just throwing that out there that, uh, that's another benefit about gearing with this character, and uh, you know, I I don't want to say it's like pay. I almost feel like it's pay to win, right? It's just like once you dump enough money into this character, all of a sudden you can really very quickly just start dominating like that. So, but hitting him with that hidden stinger, man, hidden stinger is a level 20 skill, by the way. And you notice that I'm playing the class a lot differently. Before I used to rely heavily on the venom mine to do most of my damage. Now most of my damage, I mean, Brawler has a pretty weak time, uh, a hard time with, uh, you know, uh, AoE type damage, but now you can kind of see my uh, specialty is the single target damage, and I am rocking heavy whenever I can, you know, hitting him with this, hit him with the, hit him with the stun, hit him with the hidden stinger, and it does like a billion damage, man. Just really good CC chain, uh, really good debuff with the net. And, uh, man, I just, Brawlo, man, Brawlo, so awesome to play, man. But guys, uh, I want to end the video by doing some content that, uh, I do want to talk about at some point in this series. We're gonna make our way over to the guild hideout, because I am doing something on the side. I usually do this on the weekend, but I figure I'll take the time to do a run now. Uh, is guild dungeons, and more importantly, the legendary insignias that they provide. Uh, when your guild unlocks, uh, Courtier Reagan here, he does sell you some legendary grade insignias, which you can see I only have a unique grade, uh, so I'm trying to farm this. I need 3,000, I think I only have like 2,000, so I'm, I'm on my way, but I'm going to get a legendary insignia, and let me just point this out uh, as we go into the Cave of Grief here. I think, you know, I've got to gush about this at some point. I love legendary, or I love farming guild dungeons because of how beneficial they are, uh, even after the fact of even if you have a legendary insignia it's really good for uh you know uh farming a bunch of di as well so i mean but the legendary insignia thing is something that i i will never let go because i feel like uh it's something that everybody should be striving towards right if you really care about making your character as strong as possible you really got to put in that work to get this legendary insignia it's not something that's you know uh, all that hard to do it's very time-consuming it might take you a couple weeks of constantly grinding this but I think if you're really trying to take your character to the next level you should be doing that so uh, always nice to be doing it in the guild but hey if your character is strong enough to do it solo you can do that as well as I am uh, getting like hit here hit him with the stun problem that brawler does have is pretty limited AOE so as I'm getting like constantly hits here She's still over there hit stun, by the way. Did you see that? Hidden Stinger has such a long hit stun that it is like way stronger than most of your CC moves. Like, I'm not kidding about that. As we uh, totally, totally miss with our block bomb there. It's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. 
I don't need it. Shout out to SpongeBob fans here. Okay. Okay. We, we could have done that a little bit better, guys. But anyway, as I was saying, Legendary Insignia, I just want to gush at it at some point in this video. Get it, okay? Don't be some scrub who has, like, full gear. Like, st starting to get to that point on my brawler where I'm just hella decked out, but then I didn't put in that work to get that Legendary Insignia. It just looks tacky, man. It's like wearing a suit with no tie or wearing a suit without, like, ironing it or something. It's just, it's tacky, man. Don't even, don't even bother if you're not doing it, you know? Not to mention the flare that you get to see. Here you can see I also, on my assist, by the way, guys, I have... I'm trying to cover some of my bases that, uh, I guess, problems that the Brawler has is trying to cover the whole uh, situation about the... And I shouldn't have done this. Okay, there you go. I'm trying to cover the bases of Brawler not having very good AoE uh, by... Uh, using the Swifty assist, which is going to be a pretty good combo. You can do stuff like, you know, group them all together and hit and hit with a skill that normally doesn't have that great AoE or something, you know. Extend the range of your AoE by using an assist, which has me flabbergasted as to why uh, they're going to be getting rid of assist, by the way. Spoiler alert. In the future, at some point, they're going to be getting rid of the assist system, which has me just mad, honestly. It's like, why? Anyway. Doing a pretty cool combo right there. Getting that stun in. Getting this kick in. Just And I didn't even blow it. I didn't even blow my awaken. That's how much damage this class can do. Oh my god. Didn't even go full swaps. If you're feeling lazy like me, guys, you can even go partial swaps. Just swap the weapon and the title. And that's it, you know. Maybe one more piece of gear. If you're, be if you're being, like, a little bit. If you're not being too lazy, you can swap another piece of gear. Just swap that, and then it's easy as that get a little bit of you know swap action right at the start of the dungeon so anyway guys last run here uh hopefully i was able to give some tips towards what i've been doing with my female brawler as of late uh having a lot of fun playing her she's kind of like i said it's been a long time coming from female brawler i mean i've had her for a long time she really hasn't i haven't put in that kind of effort that i've wanted to ever since uh i made her a long time when she was one of the og classes and yeah, I haven't put that effort in just yet, but finally got around to it. I'm happy I did. Turned around last second, dude. Okay. Happy I did. And I knew it was coming with this patch, so. Do the combination there of. This problem with this. It's like, I know these guys behind me are gonna start shooting me with arrows, man. I gotta. Gotta play around the idea of your, your weak in the AoE department by either using an assist or using a move that is not gonna get wrecked. So, all right, let's try this combo again. And, I, and hit him with the brick, and it's stunning. It's stunning even while they're on the ground. High level stun right there, high level skill, high level damage, hitting Stinger afterwards. This class is amazing. I love it. I love playing her, and that's that's really her, her evolution, guys. She just got evolved to the next grade. Not to mention my costume got evolved. Shout out to... Uh, my new costume, but it looks awesome. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I was able to gush as much as I can in this video about Female Brawler. Hopefully, I was able to inspire you about what Female Brawler can do. And uh, even though I, I'm not even going to sit here and say, oh, I'm really strong now. There are way, there's a lot of ways to go uh, for me to get to the highest point. Getting better at they start amping my gear, start putting cards on my gear, that kind of stuff. There's a long way to go with Brawler, and I'm, I'm happy to do it now. I'm, I'm excited for it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I will catch you nights. Oh, later.